Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the very first video in a series of videos I want to do that just teach you the basics of 2D drafting on AutoCAD. And you might be wondering why would Landon be doing this? There's so many AutoCAD training videos out there. And that is true, but there's a couple reasons why I'm doing this. One is I wanted to do a set of videos specifically for surveyors. And secondly, I have a foster son whose name is Marty. And uh, we're going to try and teach Marty a little bit of CAD. And uh, Marty has Asperger's. <laughs> so I tried to have him watch some other training videos, uh, AutoCAD training videos on LinkedIn. And he said, Landon, these guys talk too much and they use words that are too big. And uh, Marty's probably right. So I'm going to try and keep these videos super simple. Just maybe do one or two commands per video, keep the video short, and I'm going to try really hard not to use big words. Alright, so, in this very first video, all we're going to do is teach you how to draw lines, okay? So I don't want you to worry about layers or drawing other stuff, we're just going to show you how to draw lines, and then we're going to teach you how to use uh, the erase command and the copy command, okay? So before we do that, let's just real quick go over kind of the, the way this, uh, it's called the interface, or the way the window is broken up, okay? So this area right here, this is our menu, okay? So if we click on this stuff, we've got menu items here, okay? Below the menu, we have this, this right here, it's called the ribbon, okay? And the ribbon has buttons on it that you can use to do stuff, okay? And then down below here, this is what I call the drawing area, or drawing canvas, okay? And there's going to be a tab for each drawing. Okay, don't worry about that because we're just in. We just have one drawing open right now. I called it Training Video 01. Okay, and then down here we have what's called Paper Space and Model Space tabs. Okay, don't worry about that either in this video. I'll just tell you we're in the Model Space tab. Okay, over here I have my Properties dialog pulled up. Okay, don't worry about that. We're not going to worry. We're not going to use that in this video. Okay, and this is a little toolbar I have here. It's got some surveyor tools on it. We are also not going to use that in our video. Okay, we're going to just focus right now on the main drawing canvas. Now you'll notice when I put my mouse over the ribbon or the toolbar or the properties dialog, it's a pointer. But when I move it over my drawing canvas, it's a cursor. Okay? So that little plus, that little crosshairs is called the, the cursor. The crosshairs cursor. Okay, and so what we want to do is we want to draw a line. Now, I'm old-fashioned, so I learned a lot of commands to type in AutoCAD. But I'm going to try and teach you guys how to use the buttons, because I think it'll be easier for Marty. So, on your ribbon, under Home, okay, there is a little panel. This is called a panel right here. So this is a panel, this is a panel. And this is the Draw panel, okay? And it's got all kinds of tools on here you can use. Okay, but we're just going to use this tool right here, which is the Line tool. Okay, and if you drop this little arrow down, it has all kinds of different ways you can draw a line, but we're not going to worry about that in this video. We're just going to click the button with the default here, okay? And we're going to hit Create Line, the one at the top. Okay, now you can see by the cursor it says Specify First Point. We're just going to click. One click with the left click, left mouse button. Okay, now you can see I've started to draw a line. Okay. And what we're going to do, you can see it says Specify Next Point. We're just going to Click one time on the left mouse button again. Okay, and now I just drew a line. Now, it's going to let me draw a second line if I want. Okay, uh, but we don't want to do that. So uh, I just want you to remember in AutoCAD, you can just hit the escape key to exit out of the command. So I just hit the escape key. Okay, and now I have a line. Okay, pretty simple, right? So let's do it again. Let's draw another line. So we're going to go back up and we're going to hit the line, create line button. Okay, and I'm going to draw another line. Okay, two clicks to draw the line, right? Let's draw a crossing line this time. So I'm going to come up here, hit Create Line, hit my left mouse button one time to start it, hit my left mouse button another time to end it, hit the Escape key. Now I've got three lines. Okay, now I want to teach you a couple other commands in this video. So now you know how to draw lines. Pretty simple, right? Okay, so. We are going to teach you the uh, erase command and the copy command. Okay, so 
Let's look at the erase command. I gotta try and find it on my ribbon. Oh man, I may not know where the erase command is on the menu. <laughs> oh, right here. It's the one with the eraser. <laughs> okay, so we're going to click this for erase. Now you notice my crosshairs turned into a square. And AutoCAD makes that square when it wants you to select an object. Okay, And so you can see when I hover over the object with the erase command active, it makes the objects gray. That tells me it's going to get rid of it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to left click one time, hover over this line, this crossing line. Okay. And then we're going to hit the right mouse button. Okay, so it's gone now. Okay, I'm going to do that again. We're going to click Erase. Okay, left click. Right, click on the left mouse button to select the object you want to erase. Right click to delete. Okay, so that's how the Erase command works. Now, let's do the Copy command, which is right here on the Modify panel of the Home ribbon. Okay, here's the Copy command. I'm going to click that. Same thing, gives us a square, right, because it wants us to select. We're going to select the object we want to copy. So left click one time to select it. You can kind of see it changes color. Okay, then we're going to right click one time. Now it says click the base point for the copy. So I'm just going to click the end of the line. And then you can see now every time I left click on my mouse, it's going to create copies of my line. Okay. Okay, and then when I'm done, I just hit the escape key again. Now, this gives us a chance to show you something else with the erase command. So I hit made erase command active there. Now, I'm going to left click, but this time I'm going to click more than one object. So I'm going to select more than one object. So, and I'm just doing that with the left click. And you can see as I do that, these objects that I've selected get grayed out. Now when I right click, it deletes all of those objects I selected. So you can erase more than one thing at a time. Okay. Now, let me show you a little more on the copy command. So I'm going to draw a line. Okay, now I'm going to go to the copy command. Left click to select the object I want to copy. Right click to enter to end my selection. Now, again, I'm going to click, I'm going to click the end of my line. That's my base point. And now I want to copy this line exactly onto the ends of these other lines. So you can see when I do that, I get this little square here that's called an object snap. I'm going to teach you about that in another video. But now when I left click on my mouse button, it's putting the copies right at the end of those other lines. Okay. All right, so let's talk about, just review, what did we learn? We learned how to draw the line command with this button right here. We learned how to erase objects with this button here. And we learned how to copy objects with this copy button here. All right. so we learned a lot in our very first video. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to learn about the move command and the rotate command and the trim command. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll learn about those three commands. Alright guys, thanks for watching.